Hi, I'm John Kirkman. I'm a broadcaster, music journalist based in the UK. Uh, welcome to the John Kirkman Files. Now, there's a rather fine box set, isn't there? This is the latest in the series of reissues from Marillion. And when is a sixth album a second album? Well, it's a second album when it's the band's second album with their recent acquisition, Steve Hogarth, who was there then reasonably new vocalist. Um, this box set really did sort of uh, knock a lot of people on their backsides. It was a, a, an incredible album. They really came out of the uh, starting blocks very quickly with uh, Season's End and this really consolidated that. And it would have been like Steve Hogarth had been Marillion's singer literally the entire band's career, uh, with his, which is no disrespect to Fish. But they really had to identify themselves as Marillion with a new singer. It's a tough thing to do for any band, particularly when the band had a lot of success with Fish and they issued some great albums. This is a great Marillion album. And uh, I can remember the singles at the time, Cover My Eyes and Dry Land. And um, the music on this album is incredible. It stands up today. There's been a remix uh, on the album, 2022 remix. What you get here is... Um, the album remixed. Also, you get a live concert from the Hammersmith Odeon, as it was in those days. The Hammy Odeon, I think it's called something else these days. Hammersmith Labatt's Apollo or whatever it is. But to me, it's always going to be the Hammy Odeon. And that is uh, one of those legendary sort of venues, uh, not just in London, in the world. But uh, it was recorded there and it was the sets that Marillion were performing at the time. And it's a fabulous set spread across discs two and three of this set. Now the fourth disc is a Blu-ray and you get the audio Blu-ray which sounds magnificent of uh, the remixed version of uh, Holidays in Eden. You also get some videos as well. There's a documentary about the making of uh, Holidays in Eden but you get the singles as well. Now inside of course as you get there's the first two discs. Um, that's a rather fine photo. Peach Rose, I might be wrong here. My eyesight is not very good, as you probably know. But um, there's some fabulous photos in here. There's a wonderful essay. There you go. Look the boys. It looks like they're buried up to their necks. <laughs> I think that might have been a bit of photo trickery. But um, it's, a, it's a hugely interesting box set. And uh, there you go. I know that's Ian Mosley, the band's drummer. Um, lovely guy. And uh, I, the steadying hand in the band, of course, for such a long time, 40 years now, I think. Um, here we have these are the boys out on location somewhere. But uh, the album itself, as I said, it was the band's sixth album. And although it's their sixth, it was their second with uh, Steve Hogarth, who's been with them since 19, I think, late 88, early, maybe early 89. And um, this was the second album he made with them. And what a corker it is. I, I'm glad that uh, all the EMI albums are receiving this treatment. They've decided that they're going to go beyond the EMI albums as well, which is, will be a lot easier for them because, of course, by that point, they were starting to look after themselves in terms of keeping the master tapes. Uh, the next one after this, of course, will be the, the final uh, release of the uh, EMI album, and it's going to be Season's End, and they're working on that now. They're finding some interesting stuff for that. All of these box sets are well worth having, but they are limited. I, some of them are commanding ridiculous prices now. So my advice to you is get this now while you can. Uh, all of those releases are well worth having, but they're not around for very long. So uh, my advice to you is see if you can get on eBay and pick it up. You can get this from either Amazon, which is the big online ordering uh, system, or uh, you could try uh, a few of the independent uh, ones, like Burning Shed. They're a very, very good place to get a lot of your progressive rock stuff and rock albums from. A great company, great fulfillment, and good prices as well. Very competitive. So there it is. It's out now. Uh, it is Marillion. It's Holidays in Eden. It's an absolute corker of an album and uh, all the extras on this particular box set are well worth having. And uh, I think as a Marillion fan, you probably already got it penciled in for purchase. Jolly good. If you're not a Marillion fan, 
maybe this could be the one to start you off. It's a great album, it takes me back to what I was doing in 1991. Even the bad times were good then, I guess. But uh, Marillion Holidays in Eden, four disc set available to order now. <laughs>